So what we have here is a three and one. Um, three and one with AC, DC, and insulation resistance testing. This is not, this does not have the capacity for ground bond, but it's just in the background, you do see uh, another one of our models that does have capacity for the ground bond. As you can see here are the terminals for the ground bond. So two extra terminals that would be probably be going on here if we didn't run that test. <clears throat> so my device here that I have that I will kind of test is, um, is a transformer. It's obviously, you see, we have multiple windings on, these, on, these, on this transformer, total transformer. And it's mounted onto a, uh, a piece of metal, a chassis, right? Um, obviously, there's, there's a, some insulation here to protect, you know, obviously the arcing from this, this point to this point. So how this test would run, uh, we would connect one of our, probably our voltage terminal. And I'll just use one of these uh, windings as an example to one of the windings here. And our return lead or ground reference to the chassis itself here. So you can see it. There we go. Get in there. There we go. <clears throat> so, as I had stated before, you know, we're talking about kilovolts here. Um, typically, this type of instrument would be isolated from any type of environment where passers by or even the user itself, the operator itself, would be exposed to these high, um, these high voltages. Uh, obviously it can do some damage. Um, I know from experience, <laughs> um, it, it, those, those things uh, tend to bite uh, pretty well, even though it's high impedance, it does, it, it does, um, it can cause some damage even to the to you yourself who has many of you have experienced. So typically these types of instruments are isolated away from production and they're, they're done more in a laboratory setting, or if it's if it's in production, um, that whole area is kind of sealed off or caged in, just because obviously that the amount of voltage that's that is um, that we are working with here. For this test, I, for my personal safety, I will only use a hundred volts of potential to test this to run this test. I've already done the setup here. Um, my limit. So what I'm telling the instrument here is okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna inject 100 volts of uh, a volt uh, potential into this into this transformer, this transformer winding. And my leakage current can be no more than one, one milliamp. It varies from, from standard to standard, uh, manufacturer to manufacturer. Um, but those these limits are kind of a pun of quality, are set by the quality department of each manufacturer. What I'm telling you here. Uh, my low set, we won't talk too much about that, but I'm just going to come have it at zero. Um, test time, I'm going to run it for about 0.37, 300 milliseconds. My ramp up time, you know, I'll, I'll run, I'm sorry, using the wrong, there we go. In this case, uh, this is actually my example. Um, five milliamps is my high set. I will test it for five seconds. I will ramp up, meaning that I won't have instantaneous voltage uh, output. It will take some time, in this case, three seconds. Uh, my arc event, I have it on, and it will con so it continues. What that what that means is, it, if it detects an arc, uh, it will continue the, the test. It won't stop it. Uh, and my arc set is actually above what my uh, my high set is. So if if my arc event happens at uh, 307 milliamps, I'm sorry, microamps more than my high set in milliamps. It will uh, it will detect it and it will show up on the screen. So this test is already to go. I would just have to press the start again. As you can see, it's ramping up to the voltage. In this case, 100. Once it reaches the 100, it tests for five seconds, and it keeps testing. Typically, tests uh, on the real world run for about 30 seconds to a minute. Uh, obviously, with higher voltages. The other test I would run here. Oops, here we go. Is my IR test. Um, so I'm measuring the impedance of this little thing right here, this isolated uh, I think piece of rubber. At 500 volts, um, there is no high set in this case, low set. Uh, my test time is four seconds. Uh, in all these settings, I'm not really going to go too much into just for the sake of time and the demonstration. 
but it's, it's telling me a while I test that the impedance is measuring above uh, five giga, 50 giga ohms, right? Which is the capacity of, of, of this instrument. Now that's good. The higher, the better. Um, why? Because you want this to actually be uh, a very good insulator. Now, typically I'll, I'll ask you guys a, a question and I probably already answered it for you, but if you can tell me what my device under test here is, um, I'll give you a hint. It's not the transform. And that's where people sometimes kind of get confused. Let me turn this off. Because when I ask them, what's your device under test? Well, you connect, you're using a transformer, so it's gonna be your transform. And nope, that is not my device under test. My device under test is this insulator.